Ladies and gentlemen, good day and welcome to Naukar Corporation Limited Q1 FI24 earnings conference call hosted by Philip Capital India Private Limited. As a reminder, all participant lines will be in the listen only mode and there will be an opportunity for you to ask questions after the presentation concludes. Should you need assistance during this conference call, please signal an operator by pressing star then zero on your touchstone phone. Please note that this conference is being recorded. I now hand the conference over to Mr. Vikram Suryavanshi from Philip Capital. Thank you and over to you, sir. Thank you, Nero. Good afternoon and very warm welcome to everyone. Thank you for being on a call of Naukar Corporation Limited. From the management, we are happy to have with us here today Mr. Arun Sharma, Chief Executive Officer, and Mr. Anish Maheshwari, Chief Financial Officer. Uh, I will hand over call to Mr. Anish Maheshwari uh, for uh, opening comments, and then we'll have question and answer session. Over to you, sir. Thank you, Vikram, and thank you uh, for this call. Good afternoon and very warm welcome to everyone present on the call. I would like to give insights on the results of current quarter, financials of company. Here I am highlight the detail about the continuous operation of the company. Coming to the total revenue figures of this quarter, the same is 105.53 crores for this quarter as compared to 103.55 crores last quarter and 129.33 quarter uh, 33 crores from last year last quarter last year first quarter. The revenue has been increased quarter on quarter is 1.21% and decreased by 24%. Which is the major reason behind this is the export operations or the port is around 30% declined on quarter on quarter basis and last year quarter basis. On these revenue figures, the profit after tax of company in this quarter stands 3.73 crores in comparison to 6.65 crores in last one. When coming to the profit before the tax, the same was 6.30 crores compared to 9.96 crores in previous quarters. Going and let's discuss the elements of the revenue of company during the quarter are as followed. In case of CFS PFT, volume of ex export containers handled stand at 18,130 TUs from 28,169 TUs on QOQ basis and fallen as 35.63% 30, and from 33,811 on VIVA basis the same as 46.38%. The major reason of fall was on the exports of rice, sugar, and being the exports of rice, sugar, and other agro commodities. The position is expected to remain same for the upcoming three four quarters. Volume of import containers handled fallen by 5.30% to 28,854 from 30,470 TUs on a QOQ basis and the 28,854 TUs from the 29,590 29, TUs on a VIVA basis. The same is slightly lower side by 2.48%. Coming to the exempt turnover of CFS, the same is down by 23.79% from 64.2 crore to 48.96 crore. In case of CFS, PFT, the number of trains handled is 181 in this quarter compared to 233 in last one. And about the domestic turnover, for this quarter is 32.02 crore of Somatne and 15.87 crore at Udna and 2.8 crore at a Morbi, total making is 49.97 crores to, to companies as com, com, compared to last quarter is 37.22 crores. In the case of ICD Manaba, volume of export containers handle stands as 2065 TUs, whereas import containers handle stands as 216 TUs. There has been tenfold increase in the TUs handled in exim business. Coming to the exim owner of ICD Manaba is 4.8 crore, whereas domestic was 2.8 crore and total is 6.88 crores. <clears throat> now coming on the profit figures of the quarter 1 FI 2324 operating profit of the continued business for this quarter stands at 37.84 crores as compared to 36.5 crores but when we compare the same with the turnover the operating margins are current quarter 35.86 crores in comparison to 35.25 crores last quarter hence the operating profits marginally slightly increased in spite of the fact when the exim balances are not uh, cared by as last year Still, we are maintaining the same profit level in spite of the fact of Morbi operations where we have a huge losses because of the operations that uh, yet started in a full swing, still companies, uh, you know, um, maintaining the same profit. The profit of before tax from continuing operations stands at 3.73 crores as compared to 9.96 crores on a QOQ basis. This impacts on profit due to following factors. The employee cost of business in increase which is current year appraisal and team expansion is 3.24 crores and the finance cost 
I have declined by 2.58 crore in this quarter comparison to last quarter is 3.66 crore to 1.08 crore. EBITDA margin had decreased to 16.15 crore from 20.48 crore. This is mainly cause of increase by employee benefit cost. At last, Sumatne was able to maintain steadily revenue over last 3-4 years even when there was fall in exam revenue by 23.79 whereas the compared Compensated by the domestic business of the company, whereas the ICD Morbi has achieved 6.95 crore, which is higher by 170.43% over 2.56 crore QOQ basis. ICD Morbi is still covered to cost. It is expected that it will be achieved break even in upcoming 4 to 5 quarters with expon exponential growth. It is expected to have growth at 15 to 20% for ICD Morbi operations. Here I just wanted to be highlight over the debt size of company. Company added new fleet of almost 400 trailers in past 6 months in, uh, and 8 uh, reach trackers and 3 racks. Out of which uh, we had taken 200 trailers loan which is in that size company has taken 80 crores debt to uh, you know to maintain the Morbi operation. Like in a cyclone situation we got the huge operational opportunity over there and we add new fleet of 200 containers uh, to achieve the achieve the port movement and which is give the benefit to the street uh, business side where which was we have a business of 3 years, three crores last quarter which is 7 crores this quarter. Now I just wanted to be open floor for a Q&A session. Thank you very much. We will now begin the question and answer session. Anyone who wishes to ask the question may press star and 1 on their touchstone telephone. If you wish to remove yourself from the question queue, you must press star and 2. Participants are requested to use handsets while asking a question. Ladies and gentlemen, we will wait for a moment while the question queue assembles. Participants, you may press star and 1 to ask the question. The first question is from the man of Ganesh Shetty, individual investor. Please go ahead. Yes, sir, am I audible? Yeah, yeah, tell me please. Yeah. Well, sir, good afternoon and thank you for the opportunity. So, during the last quarter, we had a very high expectation of uh, good performance for this quarter. Mm -hmm. But uh, if we compare all the parameters like sales and uh, profitability, in spite of uh, uh, giving away entire debt and using the cash which we have got from Adani transaction. Mm -hmm. We are still far away from the expectation to the shareholder or expectation of the investor. So every quarter we are expecting something stabilizing of the uh, uh, profitability. And, but uh, every quarter we are having some negative surprise also. So uh, I can understand uh, the business the dynamic and uh, the investment which is required. But as a shareholder, it is a regular disappointment for most of us. So, can you please throw light on our future prospects and some stability or some predictability in our profitability for the future? So, thank you so much. Uh, I do agree with you, but I have certain things which I just wanted to be highlight over here to you. Good for the company. Company was 100% debt free in spite of the situations which we had seen into the uh, market where the exports are getting down since last two or three quarters drastically and which will remain continue for next two or three quarters. Good thing for the company, there is a growth which we had seen in Morbi. There are certain parameters which will have to be taken care of well like uh, when we, were, we are going to start our new operations in a new vicinity where we'll have uh, operational efficiency to be developed in couple of quarters. It may take another three or four quarters to take care of our break even. But once we will be in a full swing, as we had seen in past where we have VAPI operations, first six quarters we were not making any profit. We were, we were on the side of maintaining our operating levels itself. And once we were in a full swing, after that you will see there was a volume of 20,000 container per month and company was making almost 50% jump in 3 or 4 quarters during the period. So now if you'll ask me uh, the negative surprise which we had seen for the company is definitely profit level and uh, I can say after VAPI also our Mumbai operations during the, this period also 
with the different strategy of our marketing team towards the domestic operations and maintaining the mix of other commodities where are where the other other sectors which you will see in export i just wanted to be highlight here when the exam mix is not correct then your profitability profitability will, will be going very lesser than the comparative period but still we are maintaining the same our ebitda level is marginally down in absolute number if you see due to the morbi operations we were making a sales of 6 crore versus we have a total expense of 12 crore so in that fact if you see comparative to other quarters our ebitda margins are remain same but due to the new factor or new uh, new uh, facility which we had started uh, last march only where we will take another 3 to 4 quarter for break even till the time that might be a profitability remain same or in a improvement side slightly but after once everything will be in operational side then will be in a real safe in next one or one and a half years i can say sir is there any plan to uh, take that for our further working capital or capex because as you mentioned this quarter we had uh, purchased uh, uh, some quantity of uh, track trailers and all for adding or operation so so but can we can we expect some more debt uh, in the books in the coming quarters to come so what i just wanted to be uh, tell you about the same uh during the cyclone period there was a huge opportunity for us in a mobi side uh and we were well catering the service with services to cater the existing operations over there and we were uh getting good business from that side and that's the reason we just take the decision and we just uh we just wanted to try hiring over there a local truck operator but we were not getting that much of a quantum of uh, vehicles that's why we just take the decision and we just add the fleet one more thing i just wanted to be add here last year till after adani's uh, deal done he had add 400 vehicles out of which 200 is uh, 100% owned by the company there was a with the cash itself eight restrictors which we just required for the operations which we added by our own cash three racks frames which we added by our own cash so all and all if you see with the entire operations when we did started for wapi we were having almost 300 crores fleet but right now with the same fleet we had on, only spent 80 crores and against that 50 crores which we are about to receive from adani in 50 25 crores in this year and next year 25 crores so total that which we added now is 80 crores out of which a 50 crores which we have in hand so i think so net that for the company over the period of time it may be maximum of 50 crores for next one and a half year if there is no such business opportunities uh, received in coming future then we will definitely not going to add any other debt but if there is a huge opportunity again come to us then we will see on the opportunity side so my one request is that as we are uh, conducting our uh, uh, conference call in the middle of uh, trading session for our market players so uh, it would be beneficial for uh, the company management as well as the investors if they can just postpone it to at around 3:30 pm so that you know the large number of investors can take participate in the conference call and management can get some uh, overview of the investor uh, perception thank you very much sir no sir we will taking care of it your point thank you part 7 zuma press star and one to ask the question Next question is from the line of Costa Vobna from BNS BL Capital. Please go ahead. Yeah, you had said that you added some debt this quarter. So how much was that quantity? Two hundred vehicles, eighty crores. So you added eighty crores of debt. Yes, sir. Yes. yes. Okay, and what is uh, and before this Mobi unit, uh, mm-hmm. what is let's say in three years. See the foyer down the line at uh, operated optimal utilization. What type of revenues and uh, margins should one expect from an ICD like this? So down the line, four years. Uh, as our past experience, if you see in Wapi, 2017 was the first year where we we were having a top line of 20 crores and EBITDA was negligible, hardly one or two crores, I think so. And gradually, after four years, if you see when we before we sold out. it was having a top line of almost 450 crores and ebitda level of 60 60 65 crores 
So we are expecting at the Morbi side the same up down the line three to four years, but it will depend on the situation of the market. It will depend as if we'll see today exports are almost thirty thirty five percent down. At the why things, is that? Yeah. So if the things why will, why is it down? Now it's audible. Yeah, no, I'm saying why are exports down? Exports due to uh, globally, if you see, and agricultural commodity rice is banned. Now sugar is banned. So once the agri commodity which is not going to be export and exports for exports nowcar we are major having uh, exports of uh, agri commodity itself. So sugar earlier if you see last year we were having almost 10 to 15 trains volumes in a month, which is all stopped, and which will remain continue as we got understand from the market as well as the government entities. It will remain continue for next two or three quarters itself. So you're saying when so so, so what you're saying is is that when government comes out and bans the exports. To mm-hmm. regulate the commodity, uh, Navkar is uh, not gaining is uh, not gaining from this. Is opposite of gaining not, from this because it's not about Navkar, sir. It's it's all about about now industry. So if you see at port side also, there are operations of exports is getting down by thirty thirty five percent. Correct, correct. But we are talking about Navkar right now because it's a Navkar call. So I'm saying Navkar. Or it does get harmed by this type of a policy because and you are not directly in this business. There are two different harms. One is the export, which is not going by the Nanka. There is a business loss. Second, the exam miss, which is getting changed. One, if I have a good export as as well as the import, then my profitability will be little higher because we have a both side cargo. Correct. At the same time, if I don't have exports or I have a one side cargo, then my costing will be little higher side. So it will also impact the abeta. And is your VAPI was your VAPI capacity same as Mobi? It is almost same, sir. So we can expect around if everything goes well around that same four to four four fifty crores in four years from Mobi. So this is our expectations. And 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 how much are you expect? How much revenue in Mobi are you expecting to do this year? So right now we are at almost uh, this quarter we did have around six crores revenue. And next quarter we are expecting around 30 to 30, 30 to 40 percent upside, yeah. and it will remain from this quarter. Ah, uh, so it will remain continue for next couple of quarter, and it will be having a 15 to 20 percent, I can say quarter on quarter growth. And you are saying, see, what on one hand you said you won't increase debt, on the other hand your and your net debt will stay at around 50 crores level. On the other hand, you are saying that. You may increase debt if the opportunity comes. So, I mean, what was the point? So, so basically, what was the point of becoming debt-free if you're going to, you know, build that debt back up? So basically, you'll have to be understand. If we are having a 15 to 20 percent growth quarter on quarter, then there is no requirement of further debt. That I told earlier too. If there is any huge opportunity came, like. Like cyclone was the event which was over there in the Gujarat, and we got the good opportunity. So I can say you, uh, in last quarter we have a three crores revenue versus this quarter we have a seven crores, and this month might be we will having cross four crores. So I just wanted to be, uh, you know, explain over here: is there any opportunity in near future which we uh, get from the existing business houses from there? Then we'll have to be add up. It will all depends. I will not be wait for four years to achieve four hundred crores turnover. If there is an opportunity and I'll reach by two years, then I'll have to be at fleet or smooth my operations. Fair enough. That's a good point. And just the last question I had on your CFS business, mm-hmm. uh, you know, could you just speak a bit about this business and give us some indication on where it is right now in terms of revenues for the company and margins, and how can we improve this business and what is what are the you know the the The, the things you are seeing in that business. So CFS Nine. business, CFS business will remain continue with the same same line of uh, uh, action since last three four years after DPD. So CFS is more we have an exam business when we have a export mix of fifty fifty earlier years in two thousand till two thousand fifteen sixteen. Now which is gone down by almost eighty twenty. So if you see quarter on quarter, our uh, CFS business will remain same, which will be in the range of eighty to hundred crores. And it was last year when before Vapi ICT we sold out, we were having almost in range of 800 crore revenue out of which 40 400 crore from our ICT and 400 crore from 
are CFS, and the CFS revenue remains same since last four five years. There are there are hardly you know marginal difference of five to ten percent plus minus. So CFS will be remain continue as we were not focusing more on CFS business because this is a less profitable business. We are more focusing on new commodities like steel, cement, domestic operations, cross business from Morbi to Mumbai, Mumbai to Morbi, like. Tiles, Morbi is a tiles hub, so we are exploring those commodities wherein they are coming to the Mumbai for the export as well as the domestic operations. These are the commodities which we are more focusing steel, which is going export from here, JNPT port as well as from Madra, and the certain uh, facilities over there near our facility which we just wanted to be catering. So this will be our more focusing area, and other than that, we are more focused on the cross selling business. Which might be giving us uh, another benefit towards the Mumbai CFS as well as the CFT of Mumbai. This is our core strategy towards next couple of quarters. Okay, thank you, thank you, Mr. Thank you. Para seconds, you may press star and one to ask the question. Next question is from the line of Narendra from Robo Capital. Please go ahead. Yeah, thanks for taking my question. So, just to just a clarification regarding the Modi revenue. So, is it possible? You. Your audio is not very clear. Can you please speak to the headset? Yeah, is it okay now? No, it's still the same. Yeah, okay. You can take the other participant as John. Thank you. Participants, you may press star and one to ask a question. Next question is. From the line of Shashank Mishra, individual investor, please go ahead. Uh, hi, sir. Uh, good morning. Uh, good sir, morning. Uh, my question is that that in the last conference call, you have shared that you have to receive 25 crores from Adani in September and October, and you have to receive also you have filed a uh, uh, petition uh, application for a subsidy of from railways of 30 crores. So, hmm. can you please uh, uh, throw some light on this? So what is the status of all these uh, both these payments? So last quarter, which I told about the subsidy, which will be from the government of Gujarat, I told the same time it might be happen in next uh, three or four months. We are expecting by December we try to get it done. It is all depends on the government entity while they are into the process of uh, understanding of our subsidy uh, papers and all. Once will they once they will get clear all these things, then we will be getting the right time, which might be taking two months time, which might be taking six months time. This it was also uh, told by me in last quarter call. Secondly, which you told about uh, the Adani payment. Adani payment is uh, due in September, and we are expecting that that uh, will be received the same in September or max by October. Is there any change? We'll let uh, let uh, give the sense on the shareholders. Because till now our, with our experience, Adani is not even uh, delayed our single penny. Whenever it was due, it was paid by them. So uh, with that uh, experience, I can say it's due in September. It might be received in October maximum. Thank you. So 24, 25 crore this year and 25 crore next year. Thank you. Participants, you must star and one to ask the question. Next question is from the of Vikram Surya Vanchi from Phyllis Capital. Please go ahead. Uh, yeah, hi, sir. Uh, so, just wanted to understand our uh, Morbi operation. Uh, last quarter, if you look at, uh, we were waiting for uh, shipping lines uh, addition of our terminal into their uh, uh, basically import export. Uh, and how is the now development and by when we can see that uh, uh, train operation can pick up for Morbi? So, Vikram sir, uh, almost all shipping lines are added over there in Morbi operations. All parties are there, started business gradually. And real operations which you told about, uh, once all operations will be in shape, once all parties will be uh, having that, uh, uh, you know, confidence on us, then that it will be uh, gradually improved. In our VAPI operations, there were so many parties, where when we started VAPI operations, there were so many parties we were refused in, in first go. And the same which was happened with us in Morbi also, because there are existing setups with the parties. They don't want to change. But the I can say it's a blessing or disguise for us. When the cyclone came, they were stuck in mid-operations. And at the same time, we got the opportunity to clear the cargo for the same party. And now 
those who parties were not entertaining us they are calling us for their operations so this is the positive thing for the modi operation i can say secondly once the operations will smooth and once the operations will be uh, on a on a higher side then the railway operations will also be improved got it. and out of i think around uh, 4.8 crore exim revenue uh, we did uh, how many containers were handled uh, in uh, broadly for exim so more be if you see 2065 containers we had uh, uh, doing as exports and 216 for import a uh, 2065 uh, for exim Excuse. for export 216 for import so in totality if you see it's 2281 okay so more be today uh, more be is more our export focus area understood okay and uh, in the jain pt or have we reduce our number of trains supposed uh, giving up uh, wapi terminal how many trains we are operating uh, it can be in total the 181 trains we handled comparative to 233 which was in last quarter uh, but number of trains we were operating i think uh, 13 trains yeah, we were uh, operating earlier so now we have a 6 trains 6 trains okay yes Thank you, sir. Thank you. Next question is from the line of Lalit Kumar, individual investor. Please go. So the line for the parliament drops. Next question is from the line of Narendra from Robo Capital. Please go ahead. Yeah, am I audible now? Yeah, Narendra. Yeah. So. Uh, You said that it will take three to four quarters to you know uh, for the uh, operations to stabilize at more be. So any da- guidance for the revenue number for the next couple of years, if you could provide. So as I told you, uh, we are in very early stage to spend time over there. We just started in March 2023, first quarter, which we have around six crores revenue, and uh, uh, over the period of time, I can. see the growth if it give me uh, average growth rate might be around 20% so quarter on quarter for next couple of quarter or 3 4 quarters it may go higher side it may take 20 25% of a growth but steadily year on year it might be in a 20 to 25% growth so if this year i'll take almost in a range of 30 to 35 crores of a turnover the next year it might be in a range of 40 40 45 so what happens once the the, the it's a, it's all depends on the repeatable customers so if some customer is having around 1000 containers volume in a month he will start with the 100 or 50 containers with the uh, initial operations once we able to do time delivery or serve them better then they gradually shift our business which is we have our past history also so based on that i can say there are gradual jump on quarter on quarter, quarter basis it might be a one quarter where may be having a 50% jump and there might be a one quarter may may be have a 10% jump so year on year they might be a 20 to 25 percent i we are expecting and it may take around 3 to 4 years time to achieve the past wapi uh, business levels yeah yeah i had understood that i was just asking about on the group level if you could provide it i mean you know all level, the ports together you are asking yeah yeah all the uh, uh, all the ports together all the okay. so, that is so this year this year we have a first quarter is around 103 it might be i can say this year will be close around 450 plus crores all together for the wapi uh, from the morbi domestic and the mumbai operations okay okay what and uh, anything on the margin side all right so margin side i can say as uh, uh, morbi is taking shape it might take break even of around 3 to 4 quarters once the morbi will be on a break even then our uh, real margin will be slightly upper side uh, from the uh, earlier past abetta level so if it's fair to assume that the current quarter margins to be the trend for the year yeah yeah it might be seen yeah yeah and also the one last question regarding the tax rate so uh, what's going on there and uh, what would be the normalized tax rate you know so both the side mommy we are in the general tax level and more be will be under mat Okay. Okay, God. Thanks, thanks, Ravi. All the best. Thank you. 
A reminder to all the participants, you may press star and one to ask a question. As there are no further questions, I will now hand the conference over to the management for closing comments. So, thank you so much to the uh, entire cellular community and the research holders. And uh, we are into the path of, again, new growing, uh, growing capabilities. And Morbi will be the new facility which will be giving us growth and uh, EBITDA level positive very soon. Thank you so much. Thank you, Vikram, and thank you, the Kuru. Thank you. On behalf of Philip Chapel India Private Limited, that concludes this conference. Thank you for joining us. You may now disconnect your Thank you.